Hello, hello, and I hope everybody had a great Thanksgiving holiday. Back to the grind here for some of us until the Christmas season is in full swing. People are shopping, and something like this, I think, would be a terrific gift for someone that you don't know what to get if they're a ham radio operator. Check this out. Last year, I did a video on the 2022 version. This is the 2023 version, sent to me by Giovanni Scavino in Italy. Um, and they do sell these at DX Engineering and in the UK on a, a Wemo site. The links are in the description below. This is a wealth of information. And before I decided to make this video again, I went back and looked at the comments from the previous video. And everybody said, you know, I, there's quite a bit of views on there, quite a bit of comments, over 100 of people that said, this is a great wealth of information to have. Now, <clears throat> the first thing that people say that's negative is, well, you don't need to buy a book. I can get this stuff on the phone. That's why I really think this has value in my go bag, off gridding, people where you don't have a cell phone, because a lot of the stuff in here is, is stuff that can help you if you're a DX chaser, if you're a contester, if expeditions, stuff like that, without having to have your phone and Google stuff, okay? We're gonna open this up and show you some of the stuff that's in here. And um, the links are in the description, but the ham radio guide, with all the maps, ITU and no ITU prefixes, call areas, DXCC entities, most wanted, uh, band plans, even some additional information on websites that he's added in here for checking propagation or looking for signals. A lot of stuff also for DB charts, gain coax cables with lost charts, uh, satellites, international space station, frequency, Doppler effect, propagation, Q codes, ham sites, and more. A lot of learning in this book. The thing I like about this book, though, is it's got the, the spiral bound with the laminated pages and uh, a lot better than having something paperback, uh, which you'd call this, I guess, a paperback. But with it laminated, a lot easier to have out in the field at field day uh, or your de-expedition or wherever you go, even in the ham shack if you want it at home. Man. All right, so there's a lot of, in the index here, shows you all the stuff that's in here. But starting here, we'll have a, a map that opens up, okay? And the map will uh, give you, you know, an idea of areas, you know, like four land, five land, you know, up here, uh, different, you know, different sections of, of every continent that you're working, okay? Uh, like when you talk to someone that's a VK4, you know, it'd be over on this side of Australia. You know, you can kind of reference this hearing call signs to know where about so looking on here you have uh, prefix information on you know most wanted it'll show you here most wanted least wanted uh with a legend here on what we're looking at so so basically it'll show you the continent the it region the cq zone the prefix the country and you know the the wanted like for instance bouvet island right here okay would start with the prefix of three yankee or the three yankee slash bravo three yankee slash papa all right, um, Peter I. Iowa. I'm not sure what that is either. See, I'm learning stuff just reading this book. But it'll give you an idea of that. And there's a lot of this. Look, lots of this. All right, all alphabetical order um, by the uh, prefixes, rather. Okay? So lots of information, a lot of thought out stuff here. You know, like, um, wow, some Santa Cruz. I mean, some of these countries I haven't even heard of before. Like, Mao O'Higgins. Like, CE4 station in South America. I have no idea. <laughs> you know, I never talked to a person there in that country before, but you get the idea. Lots of stuff here, okay? Lots of stuff. Now, uh, if you're a DX chaser, you can go by the colors, the red, and see, you know, North Korea right there. You know, Papa 5 through Papa 9 is the prefix, but North Korea is a very wanted uh, station. So if you're looking for those awards, if you're that kind of person, uh, you can find it. I, I don't really, dude, I don't even log anything really. Um, so, you know, a lot of this, uh, yeah, most wanted this stuff doesn't apply to me specifically. But we'll keep going. 80 something pages here. Then you got a list of nations and related prefixes. All right, shows you the flag, shows you the, the uh, country, the nation, okay, and uh, the prefixes as well. So, you know, if someone's in Nepal, it's going to start with 9 November, right? Roughly. Um, all American states, right? So, worked all states or, uh, you know, what CQ zone you're in, the capital of that state, important cities in there, how many inhabitants, right? So a lot of education. Then you got some more prefixes and prefixes and call area for nations with maps. Um, Tanzania, you know, Georgia, not the state, but the country. 
Principality of Monaco. Um, and again, if you look at this, like in Nigeria, this would be their seven land in Nigeria. It's split up, you know. Nigeria would be a 5 November through 5 Oscar. So uh, anybody 5 November, whatever, is probably Nigeria. And you, or, and you can see, you know, um, where about, you know, they are. So I'll get you the idea. All right. Go here, more maps, more maps, more maps, Philippines. Okay. More stuff here. More stuff, okay. Even maps here, like, see? Four. So you have K's, Alpha Alpha through Alpha Lima. November's and whiskeys, right? That's the United States. Japan will be Japan Alpha through Japan Sierra. And seven Japan through seven November, I guess. Preferred mode and general usage with the band hertz, okay? Now, there's another one that shows you, you know, uh, power output and stuff. And because there's a lot of these that are shared, like 30 meters, we're shared, we're secondary. So you can see that on 30 meters, uh, there are other regions that use this for phone, whereas we only can use it for digital, you know what I mean? Uh, so that's something you learn in the test about being secondary on 30 meters. But... A lot of this stuff here for diff, you know, all the way up to VHF, ultra high frequency UHF, all the way up into 1.2 gigahertz. You know, it tells you again your band plan and what parts of the world use those kinds of frequencies, right? Then we have uh, right here, so we have your country, your territory, member societies, right? So, um, you know, radio, you know, like Lesotho Amateur Radio Society in Lesotho, you know what I mean? Um, if I'm saying that right. Nations and or official organizations with the QSL Bureau. So if you're, you know, QSL good via the Bureau, you know, well, it'll tell you the Bureau of that country. So this is really for people that collect a lot of, um, you know, QSL cards and look for rare DX. License, here we go, remember the last word? License, reciprocity. I got a word, if you watched the first version, the first video, you remember, I asked and I stumbled, I couldn't pronounce that word, people were telling me. So here's your license, reciprocity, and legal power in the world. So, so then you can see um, your information here, okay? Maidenhead locator at QTH Grid Square. So look, I'm in Echo Lima right here, right? You get the shakes from too much coffee this morning. That gives you a grid square there. And then, then we go, you know, Japan, Taiwan, there's some other information about awards here, okay? Go in here, there's a satellite, all kinds. Of, it tells you the rules and certificates for those countries. Now you go into the most amazing or the most, among the most interesting sites for amateur radio. You know, for antennas, databases, digital modes, DX clusters, you get grid square locator maps, log analyzers, map for hands, uh, miscellaneous radio mobile freeware propagation, real time HF propagation prediction, radio planner mobile and broadcast network planning. Uh, you got stuff in space, you got space weather services, heavens above, all kinds of stuff here. Web SDRs, uh, the QO100 satellite. Then you got information here for decibels, okay? SWR, conversion power chart, show you your forward and reflected in your losses. Um, your S meter meaning, and then you have DB to power, um, you know, information here for DB loss charts and stuff, all right? Uh, characteristics of the most conventional coaxial cables, so you can see all the different, you know, you know, extra flex, Barry 7, you can see what it's made of, the resistance of it, the loss chart, the frequencies, all that stuff for, for that, and the construction of cable as well. Propagation, a lot of propagation about the uh, frequent, the uh, atmospheric layers. You got the sun in propagation. A lot of good stuff to read here. Satellites, the modes of satellites. A good reference if you're out in the field, you don't have stuff programmed. You could definitely reference frequency used and modes. When they say mode VU, you know it's you know VF, a VHF upload, VHF download, yada yada. The geostationary QO100 transponder and its footprint. Uh, operating procedures and QSOs between radio amateurs. You got meteor scatter, meteor timing for that, EME operations, a lot of well thought out material. And last but not least, Q codes, because I've never said Quebec Uniform Alpha, <laughs> QUA. That's here's the news of 
that call sign. I mean, there's some cute codes I've never used. They've been around for years. It's not just this book. And then lastly, here's some Europe here. And then if you open this on the back, last one right here, the Caribbean and Europe. Okay, so <clears throat> a lot of good information in this book. All right, so a wealth of knowledge in here. I think this is damn worth the price on something like this. I want to thank Giovanni for sending this to me because the one I made a video on last year, I gifted it to somebody, not for like Christmas or something. It was somebody who just got their license. I wasn't really using it. But now this is going to be in my bag. I'm going to show a video soon of, of what I've got in my new go bag. I probably have everything I'm ever going to need. Uh, now I'm building a second bag for stuff like cooking on the fly, you know, portable or uh, emergency food and, and, and stuff like that, you know, separately. But I got a bag with probably 14 antennas in it, uh, the radio, the, the battery, the fold-up solar panels, everything. It's all in one bag. And I think this would be really good also if I'm doing any kind of um, remote work or out in the field or on the beach. I could at least pull up some stuff on the maps and say, yep, uh, you know, that's this country here. And that's rare. So I might want to sit here and try to get that pile up, you know. And then if I'm not portable, when I get the shed done with my ham shack, I'll be having this in here. It's like a dictionary. And an encyclopedia for ham radio. So check out the links below. And uh, I like this little book, man. Think about that person that, you know, needs a gift. Uh, your husband doesn't want another Baofeng or, you know, uh, you can't buy him antennas. You don't know what kind of off-center fed dipole he wants. And you're damn sure not going to have a tower on the side of your yard. <laughs> but he may want this. And this may be a great uh, book. And guys, if you're watching and you want your wife to know, just text her the link. Be like, hey, this looks pretty cool. And then let her watch the video. And yes, honey, buy him the book, would you? Um, so there you go. Thanks, guys. Uh, there's 86 maps in that, by the way. Thanks, guys. And uh, i got more videos coming up between now and Christmas. So stay tuned. Have a good day. Ham Radio Concepts is brought to you by HamRadioPrep.com. It's never been easier to learn about Ham Radio before you take the exam. And Ham Radio Prep makes it fun and guarantees your success. Visit HamRadioPrep.com. Use the code ERIC20 to instantly save 20% off every course you buy. Remember the name, HamRadioPrep.com.